Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on. Hallelujah. We thank God for a new dawn. This is Psalm for the Day, coming to you from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Central Parish, Abuja. Let us pray. Almighty Father, you are the creator of heaven and earth. Lord, at this blessed moment, we honor your holy name. We exalt your majesty as we lift your holy name above every other name. Our Father would say, Lord, you are great. You are mighty. We pray, O oh Lord, that this day, may your name be glorified forever. As we go into your words, Lord, speak to our hearts. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Dear listeners, you're welcome once again to our song for the day. Our song for the day is taken from the book of Psalm 119 from verse 81 to 88. And as we all know, Psalm 81 to 88 is actually the center of Psalm 119. When we are down, God is always at the center of our lives. He's there to deliver us. And he is there to lift us up. Today, we're going to focus on verse 81 to 83. Psalm 119, 81 to 83. As I read, My soul fainted with longing for your salvation, but I have put my hope in your words. My eyes fail looking for your promise. I say, when will you comfort me? Though I am like a wine skin in the smoke, I do not forget your decrees. The word of God is faithful unto the end. We are a needy people and always need God to intervene in our lives. In the verses that we have just read, the psalmist sought deliverance from sin, from the claws of his enemies, and from fears. Sometimes, when problem arises, our spiritual strength, our faith, we sort of diminish, and we barely do what cry out, asking God, God, please see us through. God, please save us. At that point, we will realize that we are just a few minutes away from the nervous breakdown. But one thing is that we should always remember that God is there for us. The Lord God Almighty we sustain our mind and it will give us clarity of thought. When we look at the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8, the Bible says, The grass withered and the flower faded, but the word of our God stands forever. The word of God is sure. Even when the grass withers, and looking further in the book of Psalm 103, verse 15, Psalm 103, verse 15, the Bible says, As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field. But one thing is that man flourishes. And what does that imply? As you flourish, it means that the Lord God Almighty is at the center of your situation. Going back to the test that we are considering in verse 81, when we are weak, there is a tendency to faint. And that's why the psalmist says, My soul fainted for thy salvation, but I hope in what I hope in thy word. In other words, as believers, we should not have any other hope. Have no other hope 
than the hope in God's unfailing word. In as much as possible, we must allow the word of God to speak to every situation, to every trial, and to every temptation in our lives. We must not feel dizzy or lose what? Consciousness. When we look at what the psalmist is saying, David was actually desperate, but not despairing. In the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 8 to 9, 2 Corinthians 4, 8 to 9, Apostle Paul says, We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not what? But not destroyed. One thing I want to leave with you is that hope sustains when desire exists. Why the grace of desire we always throw us up and down as believers. The grace of hope will lift us up again. Looking further into verse 82. My eyes fail for thy word. Saying when will. Thy comfort. That word fail is a word that should be far from us. David studied the word of God intensely. And what he could not do is that he could not afford to lose that word. So he felt the pain of his inability to read the word due to what? Due to his present predicament. Due to his oppressors. And in the midst of the dry spell of life, as Christians, we must not give up. Don't give up. The Comforter will comfort for you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the midst of the psalmist's affliction, what did he do? He likened himself to a little bottle. He said a wine skin, which if hung in a smoke, is dried. And do what? And shiveled up. For that leathered bottle, for that wine skin, not to dry up, it must be kept moist. Else, it will break. But in the midst of all this, David concluded by saying he will not forget God's words, God's decrees. We must always be mindful of God's commandments, of his laws. God will comfort us when we stop doing what? When we stop complaining. Dearly beloved, your days of mourning shall end. They are but just for a moment. And that's why the psalmist says in the book of Psalm 30 verse 5. That weeping may endure for the night. Surely joy will come in the morning. The enemies will rage. They will want to consume us up. But the only assurance that we have is that God will deliver us. As we do what? As with the pain. On his great for strength. So, this day, beloved, I want us to pray. I want us to talk to the Lord God Almighty. Ask God to deliver you from every form of trial and temptation. That the Lord, in his mercy, will deliver you from the snares of the enemies. That every form of fear. That might want to make your faith to waver. That might want you to doubt him. That Father, in your mercy, remove such fears from our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray this day, oh Lord, that you're going to give us, oh Lord, the extraordinary grace from above, Daddy. To have that hope in you. 
Because our hope is built on nothingness but the Lord Jesus Christ. So, Father, irrespective of the situation we find ourselves, Lord, we pray thee that our hope will be in you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, do not let us faint. Do not let us fail, O oh Lord. And we pray that you will grant us all round comfort. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on.